Hello, in today's video tutorial we will see how to crochet this pear granny square. Uh, this pattern is part of my Tutti Frutti granny square curl and um, you can find all the info about this curl in the link that I will leave in the description. It's free to join and you can join anytime. Um, so feel free to check the link and uh, scroll through the patterns and uh, make some uh, fruit granny squares. Uh, but in the meantime, let's take a look at this uh, square. So in this video tutorial, we will see how to make uh, this uh, granny here. Um, and for this one, I used uh, Aran weight cotton yarn. Of course, feel free to use any yarn with the appropriate uh, hook. Uh, I used a 4.5 uh, millimeter hook, but again, choose the hook that uh, is uh, right for your uh, yarn. Um, for the colors, we are going to need, of course, um, some white. I used a very uh, white yarn for the center of the pair. And you'll see that it's a bit different from the uh, cream color that I use for squaring. And then, of course, you will need a, a different color for the skin of the pair. And I used yellow or green. It's your choice. And then... Uh, some green and some brown for making the leaf and the stem and of course the seeds. Let's start by taking the white yarn and making a magic circle. Once you have your magic circle ready, chain two and then working in the magic ring double crochet to well. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And continue like this until you have uh, 12 double crochets. Keep in mind that the uh, initial two chains don't count as a stitch, so you really need 12 uh, double crochets. Once you have uh, your 12 uh, double crochets in the ring, you can pull the tail to close the circle. And we can join the round by making a slip stitch into the first double crochet. So uh, skip these two initial chain two, uh, which don't count as a stitch, and go into the first double crochet and make a slip stitch. Now at this point we're ready for round number two. And to start round number two we're going to chain one. This uh, chain one doesn't count as a stitch, so again we start um, working from this very uh, first um, stitch, where we, the same where we joined. And we're going to make one single crochet and one half double crochet, all in the same uh, first stitch. Now for the next stitch we're going to make uh, four double crochets, all in that uh, next stitch. All right, so four double crochets in that stitch. Now for the next one, we're going to make, working always in the same uh, stitch here, we're going to make one half double crochet and one single crochet. Then we make one single crochet in the next stitch. And now for the next uh, seven stitches, we're going to work uh, single crochet increases. So we make seven single crochet increases by making two single crochets in each of these next seven stitches. So here we have, you see, one and two single crochets. So this is one increase, and then we make another increase. So one and two single crochets, so two. And then this is the third increase. And then one and two for the fourth. And then the fifth increase the sixth and the last so we have seven single crochet increases and now in the last stitch that we have remaining here we're going to work one single crochet with this we are done with round number two and we can join the round by making a slip stitch in this first single crochet that we made here at the beginning now cut the tail and uh, weave in your ends. To start round uh, number three, um, we take the yellow yarn 
and we need to join it in the first double crochet of uh, round two. So if you look at uh, the point where you joined, which was the first um, single crochet of uh, round two, you see that you have like one single crochet here, one half double crochet. This was the half double crochet that we worked in the same uh, stitch as the first uh, single crochet. And then we start making the four uh, double crochets all in that uh, same stitch here. Okay, so we need to join in the first of those double crochets. So this is the one. We go in there with our hook. We place the yellow yarn behind our work. And then yarn over with the yellow yarn and pull up a loop. And chain one. Now working in the same stitch where you joined, uh, make a single crochet. And if you want, you can remove this, uh, this tail here. Now in the next stitch, work one half double crochet and one double crochet, all in the same stitch. In the next stitch, make one double crochet and one half double crochet. Then single crochet one in the next stitch and slip stitch two. So it means that for the next two stitches, you make one slip stitch in each. So one and two. Now in the next stitch, we make one single crochet. And then we're going to make one single crochet increase. So we work two single crochets in the same stitch, the next one. And we repeat these two stitches, so one single crochet, one single crochet increase, three times in total. So it means that we already have one here, so we make another one repeat. So one single crochet and one single crochet increase. So this is the second repeat. And now we repeat once more, one single crochet and one single crochet increase in the next. So this is our third, um, our third repeat. Now in the next stitch here, we're going to work one single crochet and one half double crochet. And here we are basically at the bottom of our pair. Now for uh, the next two stitches, we're going to make one uh, slip stitch in each. So we make one slip stitch here and one slip stitch in the next one. And at this point, um, so keep in mind these two slip stitches are going to be the place where we're going to start to square uh, the pair. So um, you might not need it, but just in case it's useful to mark these two slip stitches, just the back loops are enough with a stitch marker so that you don't get confused when it's time to start the next round for squaring. All right, and now we can continue with round number three and we're going to start with one half double crochet and one single crochet in the next stitch. So we make one half double crochet and one single crochet. And then we make one single crochet increase in the next stitch. So one and two and then one single crochet. And we repeat these two, so one single crochet increase, one single crochet, other two times. So three times in total, like we did on the other side of the pair. So one single crochet increase, one single crochet. And then again, one single crochet increase. And one single crochet. Then slip stitch two. So here we are at the beginning of round two. So we are going to slip stitch in the first single crochet of round two and then one slip stitch in the half double crochet of round two. And we can uh, join this round by making a slip stitch into the uh, first uh, single crochet. Cut the yarn and weave in your end. Once you have all the uh, ends weaved in, we're ready for uh, squaring the pair. And for that, we're going to hold the pair a bit upside down. So with the two stitches that we uh, marked here on the top. And uh, we will join the cream yarn. So we take the yarn in cream 
and we're going to join this yarn in this uh, second stitch that we marked okay so this one here so we remove the stitch marker and with our hook we go through the back loop only of this uh, slip stitch so we insert the hook to the back loop of this stitch we place the yarn to the back of the work uh, yarn over and pull up a loop and chain one to join and now single crochet one in this same uh, back loop only where we joined and again if you want remove this tail to make it a bit cleaner now chain one and we're going to skip three stitches of the pair so it means that we skip this stitch this stitch and this one and working in the back loop only of the next stitch we're going to half double crochet two so one and two and then we double crochet one working always in the same in the in the same stitch so we have three stitches in the same back loop of this one then we chain two and working in the next uh, back loop only we're going to double crochet one and half double crochet two one and two and then we chain one and we skip uh, three so this stitch this stitch and this one and working in the back loop only of the next stitch we make a half double crochet increase chain one and skip three so one two and three and working in the back loop only of this next stitch so this is the last um, slip stitch that we made for the uh, round number three we're going to uh, double crochet two so one and two and then working in the same stitch we make a treble so then chain two and then working in the back loop only of the next stitch so this first single crochet around three we're going to treble one and double crochet two all in the same uh, back loop only then we chain one we skip one stitch and then we back loop only single crochet two so it means that for the next two stitch we make one single crochet in the back loop only in each of them then chain one so basically here we made half of the square so now we continue we basically repeat the same on the other side so we chain one we skip one and in the back loop only of the next stitch so here we're going to double crochet two one and two and then treble one always in the same stitch then chain two and in the back loop only of the next stitch make one treble and two double crochets then chain one skip three so one two and three and in the back loop only of the next stitch work a half double crochet increase chain one skip three again so one two and three and working in the back loop only of this stitch we're going to half double crochet two one and two and then double crochet one in the back loop only of the same stitch then chain two and in the next stitch working always in the back loop only double crochet one and half double crochet two now chain one 
skip three, so one, two, and three, and you see that we're back at this stitch, the uh, first slip stitch that we marked. So we remove this uh, stitch holder and we work uh, one single crochet in the back loop only of this uh, slip stitch and join with the slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round. Now to start the second round of this uh, granny square, we're going to first slip stitch into this first um, chain one space. So without any chains or anything, we just go into that space. Okay, insert your hook there and make a slip stitch. And then to start the round, we're going to chain two. And these two uh, chains uh, basically count as the post of uh, the first um, double crochet. And we'll see why at the end. In the meantime here, what we do is we double crochet two in the same chain one space here. Then we chain one, we go into the next chain two uh, space and we work one corner by making three double crochets. Chain two and three more double crochets in the same chain two space. Then chain one, work three double crochets in the next chain one space. Chain one, and again in the next chain one space, work three double crochets. Then chain one and work another corner in the next chain two space. So basically we double crochet three. Chain two and double crochet other three. Then chain one double crochet three in the next chain one space chain one and double crochet three again in the next chain one space chain one and work another corner in this next chain two space so double crochet three chain two and double crochet three chain one double crochet three in the next chain one space chain one Again, double crochet three in the chain one space. Chain one, work the last corner in the last chain two space. So we make double crochet three. Chain two. And double crochet three in the same space then chain one double crochet three in the last chain one space chain one and then join the round with a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet that we made And uh, basically, um, so the reason why I consider this as the post of a double crochet is because the, um, otherwise we would have uh, too large of a space here at the end. So you have to consider that here on top, 
Uh, basically, there is a missing uh, top loop for this uh, for this uh, stitch. And now cut the yarn and weave in your ends. Now to complete our square, we only need to add a leaf and a stem. And uh, for the leaf and the stem, we're going to work in the front loops of these two stitches. So these two double crochets, where we worked two single crochets here. Uh, at the first round of the squaring. So working in these available loops here, these three loops, I will start from this one here. I'm going to join the green yarn in that loop and immediately chain four. So two, three and four. Then working from the second chain from the hook. So this is the first chain from this one. We're going to make a single crochet in that chain and then one half double crochet in the next and we slip stitch in the last um, in the last chain and slip stitch again back into the same loop where we joined. Cut the yarn and weave in your ends. Alright, now the last step is the stem and for that we're going to take the brown yarn and join it in a similar way as the, we did for the leaf but going to the free loop of this uh, double crochet here. Again we uh, join the yarn and we chain 4. So 2, 3 and 4. And then working from the second uh, chain from your hook, so here is a bit more difficult to see because it's dark, but going to the second chain from the, uh, from the hook and slip stitch in each uh, chain. So we make three slip stitches and then we slip stitch back into the same loop where we joined. And now cut uh, a tail of yarn that is long enough so that we can um, use the tail for embroidering the seeds. Then uh, using your tapestry needle, bring this uh, long tail that we cut to the wrong side. So we go through this uh, loop here, we go to the wrong side. And then turn your work and now um, draw this uh, tail through the stitches so that it's not, you know, a loop that is hanging to the back of your work. And draw this yarn all the way through the center of the, of the pair. So we go like this. Um, of course, double check that you don't have any visible loops on the right side. All right, and once we're here, we are ready and we can embroider two seeds right on the sides of the of round one of the of the pair. So once you have the first seed, you can turn again, draw the yarn through the stitches and embroider one more seed on the other side of the center. And now you're ready to weave in all your ends and your uh, peregrine square is ready. I hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more crochet tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.